day. What an atmosphere. We've got one heck of a matchup for you. Aaron Crookshank from the five-yard line. Crookshank to the sideline. Crookshank, a little head and shoulder fake, and he's nudged out of bounds by Cole Hahn, the kicker. But good field position. Over 300 yards on the ground. Cone to the air. Davis on the sideline. Davis with a first down and out of bounds at the 39 as we head to Chicago. Mike down and five. Four-man pressure. Cone to the sidelines. Good work by Cephas to get the catch in front of Josiah Scott. A good throw. 29 yards. Here's Taylor. A little hole. Nice cut. And Jonathan Taylor with a first down to the 36-yard line. He picks up 13. Cone off play action, wide open, Ferguson, the tight end, trips over the turf and is down at the one. Tackled himself, he had six points written all over that. What a great play call by Joe Rudolph, their offensive coordinator. Really well done, Ferguson's mad at himself because he's the guy who should be able to be celebrating a touchdown right now. Great play action fake, they leave him alone, drop their coverage, and the Looked like the 10-yard line got him. <laughs> oh, they're going to kill him when they watch that on tape this week. Taylor on first and goal, lunging for the goal line. He's short. Hey, what? Michigan State's defensive front came to play today. Going to see exactly. Looked like he didn't get in. His... Ooh, he's close, though. He put his hand down before his knee came. See that? Oh, I think that's a score. That's, that looks like a score to me, Kev. That's a great job. He put his hand down and was able to keep his feet and legs up. Nothing touches. His leg didn't touch. Looks like that ball was over. Ruling on the field is not a touchdown, but they're going to look at this one in the replay booth. That's a phenomenal effort by Taylor. The ruling on the field was that the runner was short of the goal line. That ruling is under further review. After review, the ball broke the plane of the goal line prior to the runner being down. It is a touchdown. Good call, Matt Miller. Touchdown, Jonathan Taylor. His 13th rushing touchdown. And that goal, three for three on the drive. Taylor, seven carries for 25 yards and a 6-0 lead for Wisconsin. Handoff is to the fullback, John Chanel, and with second effort, he's got the first down. He was stopped initially and then found just a, enough of a hole to get the first. Johnson in a different role from high school to college. And on first down, Nakia Watson to the sideline. And the electric freshman showing Badger fans that there may be life after Jonathan Taylor. In the rushing department to start for Wisconsin, Taylor. Look at that patience. There's a stiff arm. And there is a first down, 11 yards for Jonathan Taylor. Let's go back to the beginning of that. And I want you to, this is going to be the one when he left Cleveland. <laughs> Look at the stick now. Cohn looking for the end zone for Cephas. Oh! And a juggling catch for the touchdown. Quintel Cephas, the highlight catch of the day to start the second quarter. No doubt this. a BTN standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance. Uh, you can be sponsored by anybody. <laughs> I don't care what game you put it in. That's a circus catch, and that's phenomenal. And Cephas, let me tell you something. He was covered all over the place. Dow had him. I mean. Cone to the air. First down at the 25 to A.J. Taylor. It's the best I've seen Cone play all year. Watch all the games on film. They're a man. Cone with time again over the middle. Finds Danny Davis. Davis with a first down at the 13. Josiah Scott on the tackle. And Larsh bends that one through. And it's 17-0. Wisconsin, four and a half remaining in the first half. Using a little bit of time here. Cone on second down. Pressure comes. The ball's loose. Covered up. 
by Cole Van Lannen. Jacob Panashuk gets the sack. Van, and the first time real pressures come to Jack Cole. And Van Lannen is able to make the make the uh, recovery because he didn't block Panashuk. Panashuk went around him like he was standing there. And the Badgers are not going to stop this one anymore. It's halftime. 17 nothing. Wisconsin with the lead. Get the one first down. And it's a fake. The up back, Trey Mosley, has the first down and more. And Mosley to the 42 of Wisconsin as Mark D'Antonio reaches into the bag of tricks and pulls out a big play on a fake punt. That's really well done by Mark. He's more fired up than the, than the rest of his group. They don't see that out of Mark very often. That's a great call and well executed. And that's what he was talking about. You just look. You call the box. Five man pressure. Lewerke sliding catch by Stewart for the first down at the 27. Well done by Stewart. Ball behind him. Not a well thrown ball. Third and 27. Little underhand shovel to the tight end Seibert. And Seibert brought down by Noah Burks at the 36. Kevin, I'm going to tell you something. Cone to the air. Open. Caught. First down. Kendrick Pryor out of bounds at the 42 yard line. A pickup of 18. 32. Taylor looking for the first down yardage, and he has that to the 35 of Michigan State. Raquan Williams with the tackle. They're just being patient. Going to the sideline. Open is Davis. Danny Davis with a first down. Scott and Dowell were there. Good protection again. Wide open is tight end out of the two is Ferguson. First and goal, Wisconsin. Great protection. Jack Cohn delivers. Jack Cohn has delivered all game long. Great protection. This ball is, I mean, it's perfect. That's, you know, I've said it all game long. I'm going to say it again. This is the best I've seen. Jack Cohn close to goal. Cone gives to Taylor. Taylor driving for the end zone. Touchdown. It's just power football, Jim. They bring all the big bodies in. They get a little momentum. And then he just comes behind you and picks his way. This good old fashioned football. Jonathan Taylor had five touchdowns last week into the end zone for the second team play. 92 yard march, the longest drive by Wisconsin this year. Nothing more than an offensive lineman likes than getting a big old grunt for a touchdown. For nine today on third against one of the best in the nation on third down, and it's intercepted. Threw it right into the arms of Zach Bond, who will take it right into the end zone for a touchdown. coming on a blitz that they're going to use their best pass rushers on the blitz instead what they do is they bring someone else and drop Vaughn right into the passing lane six he's going to be right over here you're expecting him to come he takes a step now he gets his drop they were going to try to hit that quick slant behind him but Vaughn took it the other way 31 no. away from 5,000 career rushing yards but instead the carry goes to Kendrick Pryor Pryor got a block Pryor down the sideline Stiff is going to take it to the house. Great call, Kevin, especially a stiff arm. That was awesome. I love to see that. 
I hate to take one, but I love seeing it perform well. That was really well done. He's going to get the edge right away, and he's off and running. There's one guy who has a chance, and it's right here. But watch this. Boom. <laughs> That's a great job. Uses momentum against him. Cody Watt on the bottom of the screen down here to the center. Lombardi looking for White. Deflected and intercepted by Rashad Wild Goose. Wild Goose will bring it out of the end zone, and he's down at the 11 yard line, and that will put an end to the chances of the Spartans. Wisconsin, four shutouts in six games. team with four shutouts in their first six games since Minnesota in 1962.